Hey everybody, today is Monday, December 19th, 2022, and as per usual, I have something all over my shirt. Who knows what that is, but we are down here in the library because um, I'm going to show you guys something pretty awesome. So um, you guys may, I, I took some photos of this, if you guys follow me over on my other, what, seriously, what is all over me? I have no idea. Anyway, if you guys follow me over on my other channel, Cinema Sickness, then um, you probably saw a photo of this. I did post a picture of this, but look what I just recently picked up. Look at this. This is one thing I want to show you guys today. Who is amazing? Pac-Man 1-Up, or sorry, Ar I always call it 1-Up Arcade. Arcade 1-Up Machine. Look at this thing. This is awesome. I actually got this for free from a friend of mine. I had a friend who um, was getting... Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I had a friend of mine who was getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. She had a, she had a ton of stuff and she took, she was taking photos of it and it was all kind of stuff. And I was like, eh, you know, whatever. She lives about an hour away from me. So it's not, not super, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This thing's so cool. I, I've been, I've been playing this like a ton. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Can I play, can I play? And everything's like backwards. I'm trying to play through my screen. Okay. Anyway, this thing is awesome. So I had a friend of mine who was getting rid of a whole bunch of just all kinds of random stuff. She had um, the toys and, and things like that that she was just going to donate. She said, do you, do you want them? And honestly, at first, um, I was kind of thinking, no, maybe not so much. Because it wasn't anything like overly amazing. Nothing like retro or anything like that. All kinds of like sort of stuff from the last couple of years from toys. But a lot of it was still brand new factory seal stuff that hadn't even been opened. So I was kind of like, may may maybe, maybe that'd be good for the store. But then she was like, oh, by the way, I also have this. And I was like, well, I'm making that like hour, 45 minute drive out to your house now because yes, I want this. I wanted this for me. The other stuff I wanted for the store. I was like, fine, I'll get that. I'll, I'll, I'll take anything you're getting rid of. I'll take anything and just, I'll put it in the store. Why is this all like crooked? I'll put anything in the store, but like this, I was like, I have to have for me and my library. So put it up here, what I think looks pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, I actually moved some stuff around, made some more room for some, some more, um, I didn't make more room for, I, I, I moved stuff around to, to make room for this. Basically, I used to have my, uh, my, um, my VHS beta and video eight rewinders on top of here. Now I put this on here instead. And I moved my, my GameCube with the Game Boy Advance adapter here to, uh, to make it a lot easier to play games. Now it used to be in here, which I know what you're thinking. Okay. Well, it's just behind glass and you know, it just, it just does that, but you'd be surprised how often I didn't how often I didn't play my GameCube. Well, I don't play my GameCube. I don't have any GameCube games, but my I didn't play my my Game Boy games on this. You, you'd be surprised how often I didn't do it just because it was behind glass. Like now, I've actually, now that I put it out here, I've actually played this a couple of times on my my nice um, 720 HD tube TV, CRT TV. I love this thing. This thing's a beast. Weighs 475 million pounds, but it's awesome. Anyway, so now that I actually have it out, I've been playing it so much more now. It's so easy just to pop a game in quick and just, just play it. In fact, I might, I'm, I'm thinking about leaving the controller just hooked up to it all the time so I can just play whenever I want. So anyway, this is awesome. This is cool, but I wanted to show you guys something else. Um, this I just got in the mail today. Again, all my other channels that I'm a sickness, I will be doing this. I, this, I have not, this is just shown to you guys. I have not shown this off in a video on cinema sickness and probably won't show it off in a video on cinema sickness. Um, I, Probably should have, but I, I don't know. I guess I won't. Um, yeah, well, whatever. You're seeing it here. So anyway, this is a box I just did an unboxing for on Cinema Sickness. I just did a whole unboxing of this. This box actually comes from my, uh, uh, my viewer, James, which is, he's awesome. He said this gigantic, huge, ridiculous, what is this? It was like 50-something pounds. 54-pound um, box of insanity. This thing was crazy. It was nuts. And he said some cool stuff. So I figured I would just show you guys what it is I decided I'm actually keeping from the box. So if you guys did watch the other video, again, on my other channel, um, and you saw, like, I mean, this box was full of stuff. This box had just a ton of stuff in it. You guys saw all the stuff that um, he gave me. I'm only actually keeping a, a little bit of it. Some I did keep for the store. Some I'm going to take the trade in for Pam, at, at Pam's in the video game movie dome. Um, some of it was just like some VHS that I'm going to put together in some boxes and whatnot. Anyway, but I did keep a couple of it for my collection. So I'm keeping for me is um, Ancient Mysteries, uh, Miraculous Canals of Venice. Grabbing that, keeping that. Um, Nat Geo World's Last Great Places. I actually have some of these, but I don't think I have what's in here. This has um, Galapagos Islands, Wilds of Madagascar, Panama Wild, Amazon Land of the flooded forest and um uh Sino sonoran desert i don't think i have any of those so definitely creeping that this is cool i was one room schoolhouses yes yeah, a pbs documentary in the video where i'm unboxing it i kind of lost my mind over this and probably people are gonna be like why 
why this? This is awesome. This is cool. I love weird documentaries like this. Like these like local PBS documentaries that are put out by like local um because PBS, yeah, you think you think the public broadcasting system, and they do big shows. They have big shows that get, you know, spread out nationwide. But then they have these little like syndicate or whatever you want to call them, um, uh, stations, and they put out more independent local um local documentaries that are more localized to like your area and i mean obviously this probably wasn't even really shown out here maybe it was but i mean this is definitely the kind of thing that would have been shown like on a little um iowa pbs station so this is cool that's awesome that that's amazing uh bill nye the science guy wind i don't have wind i got a bunch of these actually, i actually have a whole bunch of the bill nye the science guy releases in my collection here all all of these up here. There's a couple of them up there as, as well. I have a whole bunch of these. They're awesome. Put up by Disney. And I, I didn't actually realize until uh, maybe only a year or so ago. I, start, I started buying these thinking they were something newer. Thinking, oh, Disney must have done like a newer Bill Nye the Science Guy series. Because I know I know Disney now. Well, I don't know when it was. But at some point, Disney um, owned Bill Nye. I don't, think, I don't think Disney always owned Bill Nye. I think it was like later on. Disney eventually owned Bill Nye. And I know they had the original series. But I thought, okay, these were like a newer series. They must have done like a um, uh, like an internet series series or maybe Disney did have a show or something like that but I thought they were newer episodes and it turns out all the actual episodes on these are original Bill Nye the Science Guy episodes if you're a big fan of the 90s Bill Nye like I was these pick them up they're not new they're not newer episodes they're not episodes from like the uh, early 2000s even though this this DVD was put out in 2008 these are not newer uh episodes these are these are original 90s episodes and they're very cool uh this is awesome uh Animal Planet Wild of the Deep or sorry Wild of the Deep just Wild Deep what it is kind of weird Wild Deep kind of a weird name um I want to see I have like one of these but I don't have all of these this is really cool this is um two DVDs and a hardcover book wow really that's pretty awesome. Can I get this open with one hand? I'm trying. I'm trying. It's it's coming. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. And come on. You can do it. There we go. So two DVDs, which I don't think I actually have these. These are these are interesting. These DVDs here. I don't I don't have these. I want to say I maybe have like one of the episodes or something on a DVD. And then there's a hardcover book in here. I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Check this out. A hardcover book. That's cool. With an octopus on it. That is pretty awesome. That is neat. So yeah, pretty excited about that. I love me some um, Nat Geo. You're gonna realize a lot of this stuff is documentaries as well. Um, James said a lot of a lot of documentaries, and I have a huge documentary section. I'll show that to you guys in a second. Um, this is a um, CD of Kingdom Hearts Orchestra World Tour album. This is cool. Kingdom Hearts music. That's really really neat. Uh, Save Our History, The Search for George Washington, some History Channel, Smart History Channel with uh, Modern Marvels, the um, Al Alcane Highway. Am I saying that right? Where's the Alcane Highway? Leave a comment down below if you know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, National Geographic, Relentless Enemies on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD, but uh, replacing that. This I could swear I have, but I went over to my collection and looked. I don't seem to have it. I can't find it anywhere. So maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I don't have this. This is Ken Burns America Collection Statue of Liberty. Can't find this. I looked in Ken Burns. I looked in America, like over my collection. I'm like, okay, is it in K for Ken Burns? No. Is it in A for America? No. Is it under S for Statue of Liberty? No. I apparently don't have this. So um, I guess I didn't have it in my collection. So I'm keeping that. Um, the soundtrack, The Brave Little Toaster. That's cool. I didn't have that yet. And this is interesting. This is a four-year consideration release of uh, Billy Crystal, the Kennedy Center, Mark Twain Prize. That's pretty awesome. So uh, very cool DVD there. So that's everything I decided to keep from the box. So if you guys did see the other video, uh, we'll actually... You guys haven't seen the video yet. The, you're you're going to watch the, This is going to be up tomorrow for you guys. Um, the video is not going to be up until um, like January 4th or something like that. So you guys, for those of you who follow me on this channel, uh, who also watch my other channel, you're getting a, a sneak peek as, at, at what I'm actually keeping out of this whole box. But coming up in like a couple of weeks from now, uh, on my other channel and on the other my other channel, Cinema Sickness. If you guys can, if you don't like, guys don't follow Cinema Sickness, follow it. It's a daily thrifting channel. I got to put these... I just decided I I've been watching a lot of stuff recently and deciding whether or not I'm going to keep it or not. And I decided these are two movies I just watched. I'm keeping them. These were good. I liked them. Um, long uh, Long Riders, which was pretty decent. Not my favorite like western, but it was good. And a Christmas Horror Story. That was fun. I like that movie. So I'm keeping those from my collection. I got to put those uh, put those away yet. Should put those there so I don't forget. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, uh, I guess some of my other channel. Head over to Cinema Sickness. I do daily thrifting videos there and unboxings and whatnot there. So. That's that. I'm going to do a whole library tour for you guys at some point. Uh, maybe within the next, probably this week, actually. Before Christmas, I want to do a library tour for you, for you guys. So I'm going to, I'm, don't hold me to it, but that's the idea. I'm going to do a library tour video, show you guys the entire library. But I did mention my, my, um, 
the documentary collection literally starts up there and goes all the way down <laughs> to there. This is all documentaries. I it's it's a it's the largest section of my uh, my library. And I just want to show you guys something else while we're at it because I did mention I'm watching things. So you guys may again if you don't follow me on my other channel, you wouldn't know this. But on Cinema Sickness, uh, back I guess it was maybe like a year and a half ago at this point, I did a library purge. This whole library got redone. I got rid of a ton of movies, but about half my collection gone. Um, but the half my collection was gone, but half of that that went away, I got actually got rid of. I gave to uh, I treated it into the video game movie dome or put stuff on for sale in my store. But um, half of that yet is actually technically still here in my house, and it's in piles like all this here all of this over here this is all stuff i have not gotten rid of because i don't know if i want to get rid of it or not this is also i wanted to not necessarily like I, i've never seen this is a hijack it looks like a great movie this looks like a, like i really want to see this it looks like a good movie i'm i'm intrigued by this it's brand new factory seal look at that i, I want to see that movie but I've never seen it. Do I, I don't know if I like it or not. I don't, I don't want to have it in my collection. Cause I'm like, I don't know if it's a good movie. If it, if it's a good movie, I want it in my collection, but if it's not, I don't want it in my collection. I want to get rid of it. So this is all stuff that I have to watch yet to decide whether or not I actually want to keep it or, um, get rid of it. Cause I, I don't, I don't know. I need to, I need to watch this stuff to decide whether or not I'm keeping it in my collection are selling it or trading it into the video game movie dome. I have no idea. But all right, guys, that's it. Just want to do an update for you guys. I want to show you guys, um, again, this amazing Pac-Man machine I got for free from a friend of mine, a high school. This is why it pays, why it pays to stay friends with people from high school and also why it pays to let people know that you collect stuff. If you collect, I don't care if you collect movies, video games, books, collectible toys, Funko Pops, I, Lego. I don't care what it is you might collect for. I don't care if it's the weirdest, most bizarre, strange thing. You have some weird collection, some weird thing you collect. Let it be known. Put it out there. Put it on social media. Hey, everybody, I collect this. Post pictures of your collection. Let it be known because you may have a friend who goes, hey, I'm getting rid of this thing. And I know you're kind of interested in this stuff. Do you want it? And you might end up with a free arcade one-up Pac-Man machine. So you just never know. But all right, that's it, guys. Um, So yeah, if you do follow me on uh, Cinema Sickness, you are getting a little bit of a early look here. You're getting a look at something I haven't even shown you guys on that channel. And you're getting a look at what I'm actually keeping. Keep why do I keep doing that? I keep hitting my leg. And you're getting... <laughs> it's probably really annoying to you guys, right? And you're getting a, a early or early look at... Well, not an early look at... I, there was a ton... There was a ridiculous... This bo look at this box. It's huge. There was a ridiculous amount of stuff inside this box here. So you're not getting an early look as to what um, was inside this box. That'll be again on my other channel. You get to see everything that James sent. But this is just what I'm... I just want to show you guys what I'm actually keeping from that box. I might do updates like that on, on this channel for my other channel where I, you know, maybe I get an unboxing. I'm like, hey, here's what I actually decided to keep from the box or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hitting my, hitting my leg again. Anyway, guys, that's it. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get some food now. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month. In fact, right down here, look at this. I got... I got postcards right here. I should put these somewhere where I don't forget them. Postcards right here that are ready to be sent out for next month. I'm going to send them actually from Walt Disney World. That's the plan. In theory. In I Don't hold me to that because it's going to be a very busy day. And I don't actually know if we're going to be able to make it to the park. I want to go to the set. We'll see. In theory, those will be sent out from Walt Disney World um, at, at the beginning of um, of January. So if you guys do um, become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. I appreciate it. Also, uh, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas in Fanabelle and Pumpkin so we can go to interesting places. Or, in this case, I can go to the post office to pick up gigantic packages. But all right, guys. So why do I keep hitting myself? I don't... I don't know why I keep doing that. Anyway, guys, so thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. You have to do that now. Apparently, people aren't getting notified about my videos. So click the notification bell because apparently subscribing is not enough when it comes to YouTube. I hate YouTube. Click the notification bell. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. That's it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye.